Welcome everyone and today I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak a PS4 on 5.05 so to do this you are going to need a PS5 console that is also either on a low firmware or is on 5.05 unfortunately you cannot downgrade these there probably is a way but you probably gotta like solder on the motherboard and I'm not going to show any of that, or I don't know if you can do that. So, no downgrading um, option, unfortunately. Uh, but there is a 9.00 jailbreak already out, because I have made this video before. But again, like I said, I deleted all my modding tutorials, because, I, I don't know, I was going to, like, just not you give not do it anymore, you know. Didn't want to do it. But, um, came back, and... Uh, kind of regret that decision and unfortunately I was able to recover them but they're all corrupted now so I've got to redo my videos again basically they're not going to have the same feeling though as back then and people have most likely done the 11.00 jailbreak by now but I'm going to show you again how to do the 5.05 and the 9.00 at some point okay so you're going to need a USB and a computer of course your PS4 on low firmware. So I'm going to show you the rest on capture card now so let's get started. Okay here we go we're now on the PS4. Mine is already been modded since 2021 but like I said again I lost the video footage was able to recover it but it's corrupted and I can't figure it out been worth trying to figure it out for days. Um, so here we go again so first thing you're going to do is we're going to check the we're going to go to settings all right and then we're going to go to network and for now make sure you untick this because you don't want to update to the latest if you are on an old firmware still like me on this one and then we're going to head to um system and automatic downloads and if you have any of these boxes ticked uncheck them so if they're like this then untick them like this okay and then what you want to do next is um so i'm going to show you the firmware what it's on so if we go to system information you can see it says 5.05 .05 right there but if you're on a lower firmware um I can quickly show you how you can get the firmware and put it on a USB and update it but I'm not going to do the update myself because it's obviously already on 5.05 .05, so you don't need to do that but I'm going to quickly show you that so let's head to the computer grab ourselves a USB and do that. okay so now we're at the computer so let's plug in our USB there you go now the USB for PS4 can be formatted in either a fat 32 or an X fat as you can see so I got mine in fat 32 right here I'm using my USB I use on my PS3 because that will work as well so let's head over to this website this is where you get the firmware from and we're looking for 5.05 .05. so again if you're on lower firmwares you gotta do this but I'm 5.05 .05 right here as you can see so you just hit download on that uh, save it somewhere as you can see it's coming down it's going to take some time so I'll pause it and see about once it's done all right here we go I got me a uh, firmware here so we're going to rename this to an uppercase ps4 update dot pup you see like that and then with your USB plug that in there we go plugged it in okay and the USB needs to be formatted in fat32 and or it can be formatted in xfat for this okay so here we go so here's my USB and we're going to create a new folder called ps4 in uppercase 
I'm going to open that up. I'm going to create another folder called update. And then what we're going to do is just drag our firmware into this folder. Okay, there you go. Once you have everything looking like this, we can go ahead and eject the USB and go back to the PS4. See you there. Alright, at the PS4, we're going to head and plug in our USB. I don't think it matters what port, just plug it in. And then we're heading over to, um, I don't know if we need the internet on for this, but we're going to go to system software update. And we need to turn on the internet. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the internet. It's done. And then system update. And it says a DNS something error code. So let's head into network and let's quickly set up an internet connection. Yeah. And now we've done that. I believe it's trying to get us to get the latest software, which I'm not doing. Canceling that. I'm going to go ahead to settings again. I'm going to go down to system update again. So it keeps trying to guess to get the 12, which I'm currently not doing. So again, deleting that. So let's head over to, where is it? settings again and then we're going to go into automatic downloads in just a moment just fixing the sound All right uncheck these boxes all right let's head back to system update and it's still giving us the 12 all right so i guess this is only going to work for uh, if your console's already on uh, the firmware then from now on. Okay, but RPS for what I showed you is on that. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, so just going to disconnect the internet. Try one more time without that. But I think we need the internet on. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, the other option I've got is putting the console in recovery mode let's try that shall we all right let's put this ps4 into recovery mode so let's turn it off so when it turns off fully i'm not sure if i could have put it in rest mode by accident then it shouldn't really take that long should it come on okay let's turn it back on and then when you hear a second beep that's when you let go apparently okay i don't think it... oh. here we go i'll let go of it Let's turn it back on though. No, it's probably in recovery mode once we turn it back on. Yeah, I might have not I might have not the capture card. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, my capture card wires a little bit or the um the port is a bit messed up. But there you go. Now we need to hook up the PS4 pad with the cable. Let's do that. Press the uh, button. All right, let's head into update system software. Make sure the USB is plugged in, and we're going to choose update from USB storage device. And we're going to go with OK. And there you go. It says right there that contains a file version of 5.05 .05 or later. If your one already says a later one, then you can't do this one for free. Uh, because 11.00 is the latest and you can't downgrade either unless you've got like an old console and it's already got like a uh, You've done a backup on it with an external hard drive or something and then uh, Yeah, you can uh, wipe it and then put the uh, backup back on it, I believe But we're gonna hit OK And there you go. It's found the firmware file. Let's hit next there you go, it's copying it. And we got an error has occurred. Turn off the PS4. I think it's because I've already on 5.05 this won't work, but I showed you how to do it. 
I just hope I haven't messed up my uh, console now and corrupted it or something. That would have been pretty bad. But that is how you actually do it in recovery mode, which I probably would recommend more. I'll turn it on again. Probably going to be a long video, and I apologise for that. It's because I have not done it in a while. I only did this PS4 once, and frankly, really, I wished I never deleted any of the videos. <laughs> or, oh, yeah. Silly me. Just hoping this will put me back on the uh, alt oh, checking for system storage. Okay, we're gonna pause this because it can take a few moments. Okay, so it's turning back on. By the look of it. Alright, so here we go. We're now back from because the uh could show you how to do that. You may need to download the other firmware, maybe maybe the retail one from the other page. There's retail and then there's def test kit firmware and then the recovery firmware. You might need the retail firmware, I could have got the wrong one. My console is on 5.05 .05, so I didn't really need to do it anyway, but I've showed you basically what you got to do. So now what we're going to do is head over to settings again, network, tick this network box. Let's go to set up internet connection. And let's go with custom. And where does it say? Uh, so yeah, custom. Oh, I accidentally went with LAN. We're not on LAN. We're on uh, Wi-Fi. Then custom. Okay. Then set up a password and stuff. Okay, this you want manual. No, you want automatic first. Do not specify. This is manual, the DNS right here. This will be manual right here. And then let's click on that. And then you've got your primary and secondary DNS. So we're going to type in right here 108.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
And then what you want to do as well is uh, we're going to disable the... Uh, is this going to close or do I get to close the page like that? So with gold hen now, you'll have this option right here. And basically you can install packages. Uh, there's cheats and stuff, uh, plugins, a game overlay, server settings, you know if you want to do FTP, and then about. Uh, you also want to head back into the user guide, and you have gold hen here as well, and you'll have debug settings too, and don't go around playing with these if you don't know what you're doing. But I believe you can use package installer too this way. Okay, so let's go back up to user guide. Let's go back into this one. And let's hit where's disable updates. Disable updates. Right here. Disable the updates. Good. And that's it everyone, that's how to jailbreak or exploit your PS4 onto 5.05 .05. and I hope you've enjoyed and if you did leave a like, subscribe and see you all in the next video. Bye for now.